Okay, episode 34 at the auction. Uh, pretty good a night last night. Uh, you'll see from the footage that there's uh, uh, there was nothing in the side room. Uh, the, the back room is where we got everything last night. Uh, I didn't even, there wasn't even anything in the front room that really interested me. So I, I didn't even put any absentee bids in or anything like that. Uh, we had a lot of fun last night. It, uh, everybody would seem to be a little, a little more lighthearted, I guess. Uh, normally everybody's so uptight and stiff. You try and have a little fun, and everybody just kind of looks at you, you know, with that old grumpy look on their face, uh, which sucks. I mean. Yeah, you know, if you if you don't like being there, don't go. <laughs> Plain and simple. I mean, I I really enjoy going, and you know, we have fun, and uh, we pick on people, <laughs> especially my mom because she's so short. Um, last night there was a high chair there uh, sitting on the table, and. Randy was auctioning, and, you know, he sold something, and then I, I said, well, well, my mom needs to buy that height chair. At least if she buys that, she can sit at the table with us and reach the table, you know, and everybody had fun and was laughing about it. There's, there's still other ones that, you know, just think that, you know, you go to the auction and it's just all business. You have to be, you know, you can't have any fun at what you're doing. And, you know, auctioneer laughed, and, and Al laughed and had fun with it. You know, everybody was, most of the people were having fun, but you always have those ones that are standing around like, Ugh. so the hell with them. You know, those are the people I don't talk to. Those are the people that, I don't know. Like I said, if your life's that damn miserable, then, you know, change it. Go do something else. I mean... Yeah, but it was a good night. We had fun. Uh, bought a lot of crap. Uh, got a took my van because uh, my sister was uh, here from Idaho, and that's why I'm holding a country fair coffee because we took them up to the airport this morning. We left here about quarter to five and got them up to Erie, and then I come back and now I get. Yeah, I get started on uh, doing my video for Sunday, and we go through the crap that I bought in the van. Uh, they were using the car. They wanted to go to the auction as well, but I, you know, I put the seats up, and there's just not enough room for all the crap, and you know, and everybody. So they took my mom's car, and I we took my van. But I think you'll be interested in a few things that I bought. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I uh, got some free crap as always. Uh, so, tell you what, let's go look at the auction first and I'll show you what I saw and then afterwards I'll show you what I bought. So, take it away. Okay folks, I have to do a voiceover on this because everything got screwed up. And I'll tell you here in a little bit. Uh, but this this box of records, man, I really wanted this box of records. Uh, that was Santana. I uh, didn't care about that. Didn't care about that. Didn't care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, let's see. What, yeah, Jethro Tall. Definitely wanted Jethro Tall live. And there's oh, oh that was a Rolling Stones. It just went flipping by. And Woodstock, yeah, it was okay. And there's another Santana, but that's a big Woodstock 3 album set. Would have been nice to have. Uh, nah. Eh. Big hits, Rolling Stones. See, there's another Rolling Stones. Yeah, show it to them. That's a good boy. Beach Boys, yep, good, good album. And this one is you know, Crosby, Steele's Nash & Young. That's a good album. Rudolph. Uh, Merry Christmas. Nah, thank you. 
But anyway, there's there is some good ones in here. And just hold on. There's Rush 2112 covers a little beat up, but you know I didn't care. I, I wanted it for myself. Uh, some more Rush. Uh, no more, no less. That was another good one. Uh, another rush. Oh, I can't remember what that one was. There's another rush. And oh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, the experience. That was a good one. I really, like I said, this was a really a good, good box of albums. Another rush. Super Tramp. Uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive. That's a good, really good album there too. But anyway, oh, Billy Joel, Glass House, yeah, Grateful Dead, Eric Clapton, Mr. Slowhand, It's Hard, The Who, Who? I don't know, Cream, Phil Collins, Cat Stevens, yes, yeah, I know, you can read, I just thought I'd name them off if somebody wasn't watching and they were uh, sitting on the toilet and had the, had the, phone playing somewhere else but anyway that box of albums <clears throat> I run it up to seventy dollars and it sold for seventy two fifty now some more ties and I you know I I went more than I actually I really wanted to TC really wanted those albums as well and I forgot all about this box of Louis uh, some Amish guy bought it for about I think it was eight dollars which I could have kicked myself in the butt twice for that but the the box of albums, he said he was only going to go 40, uh, small corner on them. And I figured, okay, well, I'll, I'll probably go a little higher. Hopefully there will be nobody else there and he'll get them. And then I can get a, get Rush 2112 off of them because that was one of the albums I really wanted. But it, he dropped out after $40 and then I picked it up and run it up to 70 and the next bid was seventy-two fifty, and the guy bought it. And I just, I, I, oh man, I got had alligator arms after that. I just couldn't get it up, get my arm up to, to bid on it. Really nice electric skillet there too. But there was quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, why I'm doing the voiceover? Oh, here's another good one. Here's a Wii, black Wii, nothing special with Wii Resort and Wii Sp Wii Sports. And it says, never open. See, I think I show it. Come on, get down there. Go on. There we go. Yeah, never opened. Well, they opened it there at the auction. Anyway, get this. That we went for $230. And, and I never got the bid on it. I just was just dumbfounded because you can find a brand new one or a refurbished one for about like 149 179 something like that I mean they're just you know and I've seen them as low as a hundred bucks for one that's never been opened it just there's nothing special about it that's I couldn't believe either that or they just didn't know what the hell the thing was worth and thought oh it's brand new we're gonna get three hundred dollars for it now well, wrong that's all right you know, that, that's what happens. There's a lot of stuff at this auction. People get um, all tied up into bidding, and the next thing you know, they're they're paying more for a used item than what you could buy it new. A lot of junk here. Nothing I wanted, anyway. Uh, that, I don't even know. I think that's one of those uh, portable uh, sawhorse table, workstation, whatever the hell it is. Those plastic ones. Put too much weight on them, you know, and the legs fold up underneath. Really good. Here's some lock and lock. Ooh. Gotta have lock and lock. But it you know, it's just some people really get into their bidding and they can't and they spend too much for stuff. Gotta know your limits. There's another little pile of albums there. That's the only good one. The fifth dimension. This is my second time through the auction. I've already looked at all this stuff once and I had the camera with me and I'm walking around and I did all the did everything. We were having fun because I was the only one in there. And 
I think my mom was in there with me and, and Bill, of course. He's always there. And I got back to the car and looked down at the camera and I wasn't recording. Camera was on, but I wasn't recording. So I had to come back and go through everything again, which is fine because, you know, I'll do the voiceover and do some narrating on it. And, and I can tell you what I really think. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make a pit stop and uh, step outside and uh, fire up the fog machine. Now, uh, this Lionel stuff, um, you know, the boxes and everything. Oh, God, they look great. I mean, looks really nice, huh? Well, you inspect them a little bit more, and they have UPC codes. They have barcodes on them, so it, uh, they're not old. That went for thirty-seven fifty. There's some yarn. Oh, look at the yarn. Uh, in the books, there's nothing in that one. But there's a little box next to it of westerns. I don't know who I'm talking to. Who cares? But yeah, that little box of westerns. There's a nice little box. That was another one I wanted. And everything else. Oh, there's some Barbie dolls. If somebody wants Barbie dolls. We can go out and play on the porch with our Barbie dolls. Uh, that looks like firewood to me, but, you know, hey. I wanted that bench that I just walked by and I forgot all about it. Uh, the stuff was just uh, kind of in the beginning and then there wasn't really a whole hell of a lot. at the uh, You know, on this side of the back room. So, you know, there was some stuff I missed. But I miss stuff every Monday, you know, I really don't worry about it because if I, you know, if I miss something this week, uh, it'll be, somebody will bring the same thing in the following week, you know. It seems like week after week, you, you know, you look at this stuff and it's all pretty much the same. Another little box of albums, uh, mainly uh, country. But, you know, they're still, they're good albums. And Simon and Garfinkel, that was, that's about the only one that I was interested in in that box, too. But, uh, ooh, there, another one of those, Gene Autry, uh, Rudolph, and there. Everybody and their brother must have one of those in their house, because there seems like there's one there every week. Uh, that drum sander we just passed up was froze up, and somebody's paid $25 for it, and I mean, it wouldn't even turn. <sighs> I checked it out in the first, and I don't know why I walked by at this time. Wanted that little radio there, but a buddy of mine wanted it, Dave, so, yeah, let him have it. There, this box has some Star Wars, a few Star Wars figures in it. it, it most of that stuff in there wasn't worth a doodly squat. And so I didn't even, I didn't worry about it. TC kind of wanted it and, and he forgot about it too. And I think somebody bought that box for like 12 or 15 bucks for those little Star Wars figures. Uh, Hot Wheels track, man. Nah. Pass on that. There. Tupperware. The hamburger presses. Those we can't keep. So... Uh, we buy up as many of those as we can. There's that little radio. Yeah, I think uh, he had already checked out and he forgot about it. And he wanted that radio and I, I paid three bucks for it. And then he gave me the three dollars for it. Box of stuffed animals. Those were some old stuffed animals. And boy, did they stink. There's a rug. And not one that goes on your head either. More of an area rug. Those lights down there, those are those old gas station lights, but somebody painted them. They're porcelain. Should have left them alone. They'd be worth more if you didn't paint them. Just left them the natural, how they were. Should be green on the outside and white up inside. I didn't even mess with them, because as soon as I look at them, I can tell. Uh, this box here, are those 
just those are just the housings and I think this stuff came from the same place that I I bought all those motors you know look at that somebody wanted five bucks for it and half of it's missing yeah right but I think most of these uh, engines go with my motors that I bought that one one Monday I bought a whole box of just Lionel motors and Marks motors didn't have any of the engine housings on it in the box so I think that's where those came from if not it doesn't matter I'll put some together in my spare time that I have you know so much spare time to do stuff yeah. baseball cards yeah right baseball and football cards these are from the 90s and in the 90s is when they they just flooded the market with uh, baseball and football cards and you know all those ones from the 90s aren't worth a hill of beans some old pictures in here huh and I was having fun with this there's some pretty neat old pictures in here look at her oh yeah doesn't she look thrilled you ever notice that in these old pictures that you look at that every one of them it, it they never smile I mean everybody just frowns you know or got this big old nasty look on their face it's like man <laughs> Are they afraid of the camera? Are they afraid it's going to steal their soul if you take their picture? Puppy dog. And let's see. Oh, yeah, winter pictures. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There's, there's, an, old, um, there's an old Chrysler in there. <laughs> that a Chrysler? Yeah, that's a Chrysler. Looked like from the, looked like a 50s. 50s or 60s Chrysler. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you know, yep. Standing next to here. Hey, look at that. Even. Uh, da, 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 yeah, and then frown. <laughs> there was another picture of that old Chrysler. But I know who wanted those. There's a, there's a guy there that comes every Monday, and he buys up all that old stuff that he, um, he actually does a lot of, he. Uh, historical books is what he writes and so he gathers up all this old old paper and pictures and postcards and stuff like that for research uh, he has one coming out here uh, he's working on one right now for Canada to Lake Lake City uh, I think Titusville Union City something like that he's working on one of all the history of of all the the small towns which was pretty cool uh, he's already got one done and published I don't know I don't know what what that one uh, he told me what it was and I can't think of what it is right now and here's that we again just like we want to see another we the same one never opened and we sat there, or we were standing around, and we watched a couple of kids open it up. <laughs> and it was, it was still new, because everything was still in the packages, and the batteries were in there, and everything for the moats. So, you know, we do know it was new. But it, it's still nuts. This thing, I don't know what the hell that is. Some sort of projector. You know, and big old lens on it. No clue. And that sucker weighed a ton, so I wasn't dragging it out from under there to look at it. Not too old anyway. Let's see. Uh, what else can we look at? I'll just walk up and down the aisle here. Oh, there we go. Oh, exercise equipment. Isn't that what your girlfriend's for? A uh, nice little... Uh, Cordless. What the hell is that one? Oh, that's a Milwaukee. Alright, now let's go in the front room and see what kind of crap is in the front room. A lot of furniture. Uh, I should have walked on that rug, but I didn't. Let's see. Uh, see, there's another nice picture over there. Ooh, punch. Never smile. Life must have been really rough then, because nobody ever smiled. 
Let's see what what the hell's on this table. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Nothing. Another little box. Crap. Uh, old radio. Oh, looks like a castrator there. Um, let's see underneath. Uh, oh, there's some train track. Uh, yeah, there's some pre pre war. Really nice. Looks look looks too nice. That's the problem. That's why I didn't mess with it. Looked like it was repo. Some dolls. Let's see what else is here. What do we got? Hey, get out of the way. No. Yep, you're in my way. Come on, get get the hell out of here. All right, what's that? Nah, brush set. Ooh. Toiletries. That will pass on the toiletries. Here's another. Another that's, uh, let's see, two rail. You can see there's some Lionel stuff there. And then that two rail, that's American Flyer stuff. And, you know, again, it could be pre-war or it could be repo. I just stayed away from it. I did like that little station right there. You know, looks like a, a train station, but yeah, wasn't in the mood to buy any uh, Lionel, any train stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? Another box of track under there. Do, 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 do. Ah, picture book. That's my kind of book. There, yeah, you don't have to read. Do, 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 do. Uh, chair. Yeah. Got to put tape on it, or you always got some fat out, or somebody sitting in it all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice boat, paddle boat, big book. Okay, yep. Flag, nice. Oh, there's a trunk. Fish tank. <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. Not, not much, I'll tell you. Not much at all. I tried opening that. <laughs> And it wouldn't open for me, so. Do, do. Mm -hmm. oh, a little secretary, a little child secretary. And bookcase. That's a nice looking bookcase. Yeah, let's look in there. Look in there. What it now? Uh, hell, nah. We don't, we don't want it. Nothing in the side room. But, you know, I, I went through the whole auction. Went through the front room, side, back room. I had narration to everything because there was nobody around. Came out and looked, and I wasn't recording. So you get the silent treatment. I had to go back through and look at everything again. Show you everything that I was looking at. and <laughs> Didn't talk much because you know, I got people around. And I really don't like them knowing what I'm doing. Some of them get a little testy. So, come back out and I'll let you know what the hell happened. And there's some... There's some stuff in the back room. That's where they'll start now. Since there's nothing in the side room, we should have an early night. Maybe. Uh, some corning ware back there, some books, uh, that first table with that box of albums, I'd love to have that box of albums, I know TC's going to want them too, and, and I'm sure there's, there'll be a absentee bid on them from a guy, uh, probably, maybe in either Cory or uh, out at the lake. And I'll bet you that box goes for, mm, I'm going to say 80, 80 bucks. But there's a, there's enough other stuff, I'll, I'll just kind of camp out and wait and see what happens. And see if TC bids on it, because I know he's going to want them. And like I say, he, he buys them to resell and, and makes money on them. And I just, I just buy them because... You know, there's some good albums in there that I want to <clears throat> have in my own collection, not 
not to resell. There's some in there that I would resell, but more of them I would keep. Like the Rush, the Jimi Hendrix, Jethro Tall. Those, I'd keep all those. Santana, there's two Santanas, the same album. I would keep the best one and take the other one over and sell it. But we'll see. I don't like stepping on TC's toes. He, he, he only buys a little bit of stuff and he that's how he makes his living is buying and reselling you know on eBay and at the flea market me I have the store and I I buy a lot of other stuff that I, I sell at the flea market not just albums and old shit and old crap so I just wanted to let you know what was going on alright let's see what kind of crap I bought last night uh, a little box of Corningware uh, that one was five. I, it's weird. The people that um, are doing the markets and all that are, you know, they're about done. So those people weren't there. Uh, mainly the people at the sales now are buying uh, to sell online and, uh, you know, eBay and marketplace and stuff like that and have stores. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to be able to get a lot cheaper during the off season. Which is good because then I can stockpile it for the spring. But anyway, five bucks. Uh, there's a KitchenAid. That's a, an apple slicer, core, uh, pampered chef, uh, cake decorator, or whatever. And so there's what, two, four, nine, thirteen. About fifteen dollars there. A uh, box of corral. Same. Uh, let's see. This one was seven fifty. And there's enough in there to. It's just always nice to have more corral. This is a kind of a different pattern than we've seen for quite a while. And there's. Uh, I don't know. Looks like there's about ten plates and. And there's this crap that goes in the, is dumpster food. I just wanted it for the big plates. A uh, little organizer. Mom wanted that for her garage. And I think she paid $6 for the little organizer. It's brand new, never even opened. And then uh, we were talking about this electric skillet. And you know, we said, well, it, well, we won't be able to touch it because there's always somebody that wants these really big electric skillets like this. So I forgot all about it and didn't pay any attention. And mom ended up picking it up for five bucks. And that big one with the big dome lid, we'll probably get 15 to 18 for it. A uh, stack of glass. I just wanted the big casserole. It's in there with the lid. And same. This was five. And the stainless steel bowls there. The, uh, the big casserole alone, we get um, eight bucks for it. And there's another one there without a lid and the stainless steel bowl. Let's see, uh, albums. I bought the two small stacks of albums. One was six and one was eight. Paid a little too much for them, but uh, I guess I'll get over it. The, let's see, box of... These are the hamburger presses. Or hamburger press. I think there's only one in here with all the, all the containers. This was kind of tucked under one of the tables. That's Tupperware. And that's, uh, uh, let's see, what did I pay? I think I paid $3 for it. And we get 12 for it. Lock and lock. Uh, there's four, I think there's nine, nine pieces of lock and lock in here. I paid $8 for it. And this one alone, the one that's separated, we get six for just one. 
so there's you know even there's twenty four dollars just in those four the rest of it I let mom will decide what it what it's worth uh this one uh this was another box five five bucks a little casserole some pie plates a little loaf pan and some other casseroles smaller casseroles back there and a piece of crap piece of dumpster food there and a couple little custard dishes hmm, nice little pattern on that now that these are the hell is it sorry about the lighting it's there's not I mean, there's no, there's a name on it, but I can't tell what the hell it is. Uh, it's cloudy today, and I'm outside, so it's going to be a little, a little darker. Ah, uh, this was two stacks of Corningware, seven fifty each. And uh, let's see, seven fifty, and no, I didn't take that with it. I think we already, I already showed you what I took with it. Or did I, or was I, I don't know. It's kind of a blur. But anyway, seven fifty a stack. There's, oh, I don't know, probably 20-some uh, there and 20-some there. This one, like, I know I paid seven fifty for this. There's enough stuff in here to warrant paying for it. There's a nice ice cream scoop. Uh, pie server, basting spoons. Oh, there you go. For checking temperature of your meat. Mm -hmm. That didn't sound right. But yeah, there's enough stuff in here. Garlic press, a couple little cookie cutters, a uh, box of westerns. I paid eight dollars for the box of westerns just because everybody's asking for some western books. And I forgot about the box of Louis Lemours and Saint Grays that were sitting on the floor, so I didn't get those. But I did get those. Those were eight dollars. This stack of crap here was uh, free to a good home. Yeah, that one was free. Like I said, it's kind of a blur. Uh, Big Westinghouse Roaster. Uh, I sold the last two we've had. Uh, I paid $2 for this just because nobody else wanted it. I didn't really want to screw with it and, and carry it over the winter because it's going to be in the way. But for two bucks, and I get forty bucks for those. So, oh well. Uh, that little box of train, the engine. Get up there. Come on, stay there. What we'll piss on you then? There. Uh, Nine dollars. Uh, because I bought the, I think. That box of just motors and then they brought the rest of the stuff in so I bought that now I can put some stuff together you know have some fun whatever in my spare time uh, a little box of Boyd and ties I think there's one Boyd's bear in here Libby B Brewster no oh I think it's no, that's a tie I think one of these is a Boyd That's a Beechwood Bunch. Tie, tie, tie. Okay, maybe not. Maybe there isn't a Boyd in there. Oh, well. Anyway, it was $4. Ties go in the basket for 2 bucks a piece, and the other bears are like, whatever. And that's another piece of, to the... To this dude. I can go right in there. Got to start getting stuff ready to put in the warehouse. And bought a set of clamps. I uh, can, can never have enough clamps. Those were four bucks for the for the clamps. 
trash can and miscellaneous bags of crap were free. Those were left to us from Cindy. She bought uh, the piles. She bought the piles and whatever she didn't want she just she knows what we buy and what we sell so she just kind of boxed up stuff and said here you go go through it you know and there's a casserole lid baking dish there's some revere in here that I, looks like it's going to go in a dumpster there's a lot of dumpster food in there but yeah like i said short night uh we were home by Shoot, we were home by before 8 o'clock. Oh, forgot to show you this. Uh, Rail King by MTH, Electric Trains. It's a A&W root beer stand. I think I paid... That was 5 bucks. Don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to sell it or, or keep it for my collection of crap. Like I said, it was kind of a short night. We were home before 8 o'clock. And got some good stuff, you know, put in the warehouse and for next year. Uh, we're not buying real, real heavy. Well, it was kind of hard last night because there wasn't a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so that's what I bought last night. Okay. So that's what we bought at the auction last night. Uh, like I said, it was kind of a small night. Uh, we were home early, but yeah, got some good stuff to put away for next year. Uh, oh man, is that strong. God, that'll put lead in your pencil. But yeah, we got some stuff to put away for, the, for next spring. Uh, always looking to just keep stockpiling. Uh, we had the warehouse cleared out and from last winter uh, you couldn't even get in the warehouse because we had so much uh, used stuff and now it's empty and I'm starting to load it back up again for next year. Uh, try and keep it, I try and keep enough stuff so next year, next spring uh, we don't have to try and buy a whole bunch of stuff to try and stock everything. We have everything ready. We just come out, clean it all up, and take it over, put it out, and open up. And then we can start buying, you know, heavy again. So I'll be a little bit more picky as to what I buy uh, during this off season. We have two weeks left uh, for two weekends left. We go to the middle of October. I've told you this numerous times, you know, we can stay until the end of October, but usually by the middle of October, it it's really getting too cold, and who the hell wants to be over there for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, this past weekend was good, so this weekend looks like it's going to be nice again, mid-60s and sunny, Saturday and Sunday, so, you know, we'll have a good good Saturday and Sunday suck. That's just the way it is. Uh, this week uh, we did uh, three quarters of our take on Saturday and a quarter on Sunday. But it was still worth being over there Sunday because it it paid more than paid for our uh, monthly rent, which is four hundred and eighty dollars. And then uh, so that's taken care of. Now this in October we only have to pay for when we're there. You know, so if we're there on Saturday, we have to pay for Saturday. But if we don't come out on Sunday, you don't pay for Sunday. And then we have a $240 winter storage that we pay. And so we can leave our stuff in the building, you know, whatever. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh. That will definitely wake you up which I need right now after getting up at 4 o'clock this morning to uh, take my sister and brother-in-law up to the airport. Okay, so till next Sunday. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. So until then,
Yeah, that's right. See ya. Exit. Okay.